Okay, y'all, we're in the jail here. This is the kind of stuff y'all don't see. Like that, you got to go in here and tap it and get it to come off. Hey, look, I got from there to there to do. Talking about days where the work sitting. Try to put a knife that didn't work. Didn't seem to work. Try to, like a 10 inch putty knife too, just scrape it down, that didn't work. This seems to work the best because you can use that corner to tap and it'll loosen it up. And uh, then you can get some more with it. But you can't hit too hard because you put a big dent in it and break the plaster off. And you just got to give it a little tap, just enough to get the stuff off of it. And the reason I'm doing that is to try to get some of the bumpiness out of this wall. So, anyway, I'm going through here doing all this. I'm standing on the scaffolding at this moment doing it. So, anyway, we'll get back to you. Okay, y'all, I brought in reinforcements. This scraping's for the birds. We've got to basically scrape all this wall off. That's that there, that little bit. All this down here. You can see all the paint I pulled off. That took me three and a half hours just to do. Four hours to do that. This little bit over here, I did that yesterday too, but that ain't nothing. That's maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, but pain in the butt getting that off. Extremely, extremely, extremely hard. So we've got to go at it a different way. We're gonna go over here and try to find some more scrapers and some different different tools. Let's see what we can do with it. We're kicking and clawing and fighting, trying to get through it. We're not trying to get it all off, we're just trying to get the, the stuff that's that don't want to uh, that don't want to stay on the wall like the stuff that's gonna fall off, but we're trying to get it off. And if you don't, it gets caught in the roller, so you can't paint. So you have to take it off. I guess I could try to spray it, but if it's gonna fall off if you touch it, you might as well just take it off. You see that stuff falling off they working with it. We, uh, we found out a little easier way, and basically you, you sharpen your putting knife as sharp as you can possibly get it. And you go around and you dig and crawl and then you come back with a wire brush. And then you come back with the broom. And then you come back and shovel it all up. So, but anyway, we're kicking the claw and fighting and trying to get through it. This took us a half a day. Get this side. Uh, well, we got this side uh, kind of still wet. I've got the screaming out on the top and the bottom. But we got it. We've got the first coat on it anyway. It all needs another coat. You can see the two different colors there, basically. Well, this here is still real wet. Right? That's not, but everywhere that glue was, 
The Mons is a different color because it's got a white backing and the other has got a blue backing. So it makes it a little different. I think the second coat is all clean up. Um, and if it don't want the second coat, we'll put a third coat now, I'm sure. It will. But that's what we're working with. We've got half of it, or just about half of it. We still got to go above the door there, all the way across. You know, stuff like that. We got to fix it up. But we got that wall and the back wall. Oh, now we got to come up this side. That ain't going to be fun. But we got to do it. This part of it. So we'll go back with a paintbrush and touch up all the little spots I couldn't get with the roller. Like that too. We'll touch that up with a paintbrush. That's where they had nails in the wall. But anyway, that's what she's going to look like. She's really gone. So sometimes you get lucky. Big chunk come off. You know, everything is sharp and you can possibly get it where it'll scrape real good. Side we have took 90% of it off of because it's coming off pretty easy in comparison. Taking a lot of it off. That's crazy. I think when we get to this darker blue, it's not going to come off any. Hours upon hours upon hours of scraping them all. Scraping wall and pulling nail. That's what the big thing's about. You get to the point where your damn hands and shoulders are so sore you can't do nothing. But we just keep going. We'll get it eventually. Behind the scenes, special footage.
So everybody thinks it's gravy. It ain't gravy. Most people wouldn't even deal with this. You got a couple options. You can clean it out. You can throw it away and start over. Or you can spend weeks scraping walls instead of days. We've been at this for three days now. I'm sure y'all think it's been like 45 minutes. But me and Ronnie did it a day. I did it a day. Now me and the guys are doing it today. So we're just, you got to, uh, you, you buy them bags like this and you just put this over here. And get ready to go again. Clean it up and go at it. That's what goes on behind the scenes that nobody sees. First you gotta run the hand over it. And then you run a pointy knife over it. And then you run a scrape blade over it. And then you run the the uh, roller over it. And then you get the paint on it. And then you pray. And then you're good. Okay y'all. <laughs> we fought and fried and fought and fried and fought and fought and fought. But we got that done. We got this wall now. We got that back wall painted. We got that wall painted. We got that painted. All the way up to there. So, I've got two coats on this side so far. It's coming out pretty good there. It's drying up good. This side, most of it's got two paint, uh, two coats to about here, I believe. Um, this spot, it's got two coats. 
that spot does not. But I still got a couple of gallons. Maybe a gallon. I got to trim it up here. I got to trim the bottom down here. I got to fix those two holes. I got to trim this here. I got to trim that top there. I got to trim that top over there. And I've got to trim that bottom there. And we'll be done with it. <clears throat> Woohoo! So, got a gallon or so left. We got plenty of what we got to do right above that window there. It's that little spot there. We'll do it next. Um, but that's what we've got. I'm sitting here eating lunch. It's uh, five o'clock somewhere. So I guess it'd be classified dinner. But that's what we're eating. But if y'all like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I mean, come on now. We're waiting. There'll be plenty more clips after this one. So you'll have plenty of time. Just go down there. If you got a TV, push down. That will uh, make that little bar light up at the bottom. Push it over, and then you'll see uh, like the symbol of me over there. Go over there to that symbol. Hit that, and that will bring up where you can hit the thumbs up button huh. on the TV. I don't know how to do the comments, but I figured out how to do the thumbs up because that's what I do. I watch them on TV. I don't ever watch them on a computer or some kind of device where I can comment. No, I just watch them on the TV. So, anyway, it's starting to get there. We did clean the panel box up too, but it's looking good. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all watch them. Get rid of one of these lines here. That's a bad angle. Um, hmm. Find the line. He'll, he'll go to one here in a minute, and I'll show you. Basically, all these are finished. Got all these lines done. We've caulked in both ways. You can see here, you can't see any line now. Right there where he's at. You can see behind his head there, you can see the line still. He'll swing around and get it here in just a second. And you can watch it go away. Speaking of is, is that line right there? You can you can see it. Give him a minute. He's working on it. Gotta get his finger cleaned up. It's a pain in the butt because you got to go down it and re-wipe it and make sure it's nice and tight and yada yada yada. It's not as easy as just run some caulk down it and you're done. He's doing that side line. Basically you got a line going down this side, you got a line going down this side, you got a line going down the back side, then you got a line going down this side. So he's doing this line over here and then he'll come back and do these lines and then he'll go over there and do that line. That line is the one I was showing you guys from over there earlier when you look back that way. So you want to be able to look at any angle and not see any lines on it. I don't know if he's going to be able to caulk that one or if he's going to shoot it. No, nope, he's going to caulk it. Okay, so now you can see that there's only half a line. You can see it from from here over, but from there over, he's got it. I'll give it a minute after he wipes it, it'll hide it even more here. Let me get back out, there we go. So he's going all the way over to over here now. From there all the way up back over to over here somewhere. There he goes, he's wiping it down, getting all the excess off. Let me 
zoom back in for you. So I was pulling all the excess off. And the only reason y'all can spot that out of there is because I'm showing you exactly where it's at. Where did I do it right through here? Can you tell? When that dries, you'll never be able to tell it because it's the same color as the paint. So we're playing tricks on your eyes. piece that he didn't like how it was sitting. So he re nailing. And that kind of stuff we do all the time. Final inspection basically of the roof or the ceiling. You go through and uh, re nail it all and get everything up the way you want it. But anyway, long and tedious process. We've done 90% of it. I didn't want to bore y'all with all the little uh, excess little parts and pieces of doing it. I mean, y'all see what's going on now. There evidently nailed it all the way into it, pulled the nail back out. Didn't like the way it looked. Still didn't like that look. That time he liked it. I want to talk about my guys can do anything. See, I'm not having to coach him on nothing. I tell him the first time how I want it done, and when I come back, it'll be finished. Um, now, he can do it on his own but it might not be the way I like it. So I tell him what I like, what I want, how I like it, and he'll do it that way. Now, that's not being an asshole or nothing like that. That's just, you know, I'm paying for the job, so I want it done the way I want it done, not the way somebody else thinks it should be done. So people call me an asshole and all that. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It's just that we've, you know, we're paying for it. So in two years, if that coke job's no good, that's my fault. That's not his. So I told him to do that. Um, I take full responsibility for everything he does regardless because I told him to do it that way. Now, you know, that's basically how, what it boils down to. The buck stops at me, regardless of what happens. So, if I'm going to take responsibility for it, I want it to be my uh, actions, basically. I think those nails are sufficient. You know, if he gets a smaller nail or a bigger nail or whatever you want to call it, and damn thing drops, I mean, I want it to be, you know, I told him to use that, so it's my damn fault. Not, well, he went and picked up something that was the wrong stuff. Nope, it was all me at the end of the day. But there we go, we're getting it done, slowly but surely. But this last 10% is just a bear always. It's always a bear. But we're getting there, we're getting there slowly but surely. What? What is that? The, what? Uh, 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 what? Uh, 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 what? Uh, what the hell is going on? Oh my God! We've got it. We've got it. The ceiling too. He's finishing up caulking the ceiling in. Get it! Get it! Get it! Okay, y'all. We got. 
this side done here. We just caught all this back wall against this wall and the ceiling. So all that's been caught. We'll have to touch that up with paint tomorrow. This side over here has been caught. We'll have to touch it up tomorrow. We got a crack up here we're caulking and we're taking some tape down. We got some tape down off of these lights over here and we'll be good to go.